everyone. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Sarah and I will be guiding you through your practice today. Um, so for class today, you shouldn't really need a block or strap, but always good to have that nearby. Um, just a little um, preview of what to expect. A lot of um, poses that you've definitely seen before, definitely keeping it to the basics today. Um, a little unique warm up that'll help us get a little bit deeper into our Sun B as we flow through that. Um, but my intention for you is just to have fun, feel good, and do what you need to do um, in your body today. Um, so with that, we'll jump in right away. So let's meet in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch at the back of your mat, and then splay your knees out wide, and begin to lower down, crawl your fingertips forward, and just start to relax down on the mat. Take a few moments here just to settle in and start to make a quick body scan. Starting your toes, working all the way out through your fingertips and just noticing where you are. Maybe you've had a long day and you're tight. Notice those areas. Once you're done scanning your body, bring your attention to your breath. At first, just noticing where you are. And then start to deepen your inhales and exhales, filling up a little bit more with every inhale. And really squeezing, contracting your core with every exhale, eliminating all of the air out of your body. If you haven't already, start to engage in your ujjayi breath, that closed mouth breathing, your breath of yoga, your breath of victory. We'll use this breath to build heat in our bodies throughout practice. Extremely important to engage in this breath, especially not being in the hot room. Take a few more. And final breath here, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, tabletop, stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, spread all 10 fingers out wide, plant down through the tops of your feet, through your shins, puff up the space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, send your gaze forward. Exhale, cat, arch your spine, look back towards your navel. Inhale, cow, drop your belly, pull shoulder blades together. Exhale, cat, arch your spine, press the mat away. Keep moving through cow and cat, linking breath to movement. Taking any movements that you need. That can be side to side, maybe going from child's pose to a baby cobra. Coming back to that body scan and really focusing on what's calling you. We'll all meet back in a neutral tabletop in four, three, two, and one tabletop. Send your right leg out long behind you. Hover your right foot in the air just temporarily. Pull belly button into your spine. Start to engage through your core here. Inhale. And on your exhale, step your right foot between your hands, coming down into a modified uh, kneeling crescent lunge. Rise up. Shoulders stack over your hips. And breathe here. You can sink a little bit lower. Right knee can come forward past the ankle here. Just feel that stretch in your left side of your hip.
start to rise back up. Drop your palm, plant your left palm, inhale, modified simple twist. Lift your right arm, open your chest to the right side, stack right shoulder over left. Gaze can go up towards your right hand. And release down, palm, plant on the back. Inhale, rise back up to your kneeling crescent. Exhale, come into a modified warrior two. So back knee pivots so that your shin is parallel with the back of your mat, finding this warrior two variation. We're down on our knees, so there's less weight in our legs. Really focus on opening through your right hip. Send your right knee to the top right corner of the mat. Shoulders stack directly over your hips. Gaze over your front right middle finger. Really focusing on these warrior poses, on getting everything in one plane. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, modified side angle. Right forearm drops on top of right thigh. Left arm lifts. Use your right arm to gently press open through your hip. Scoop your right hip under your left. Inhale, reverse modified warrior. Drop your left hand. Lift your right arm up and back. Breathe here. Feel that stretch in your right side of the body. Take one more inhale. Exhale, windmill your hands down to frame your right foot. Step your right knee back to meet your left, coming in a modified plank here down on your knees. And we'll take five modified tricep push-ups. At your own pace, start moving now. One, two, three, four, Five, lower all the way down to your belly. Keep your palms planted underneath your shoulders. Inhale, baby cobra, peel your chest. Elbows stay pinned into your sides. Keep breathing. Little to no weight in your hands. Maybe wiggle out your fingers. One more inhale. Exhale, lower your chin all the way down. Tuck your toes. Press back to your tabletop. Settle in here for a full cycle breath. Taking that to the other side, extend your left leg back, hover it in the air, begin to engage through your core, pull your belly in towards your spine. Inhale, exhale, step your left foot between your hands, maybe help it up there if you need to. Inhale, modified kneeling crescent, and begin to sink low into your lunge, feeling this stretch the front of your right hip, that hip flexor. Rise back up, plant your palms to frame your left foot. Inhale, modified simple twist, lift your left hand. Left shoulder stacks on top of right. Really get deep into this twist here. Inhale, exhale, plant your left palm back down on the mat. Begin to pivot your right shin, spiral open, modified warrior two to the other side. Adjust your stance as needed. It's a little awkward transition, but once you find yourself in this pose, begin to settle in. Left knee stays stacked on top of left ankle. Open through your left hip, left knee tracks to the top left corner of your mat. You should be able to gaze down and see your left big toe. Inhale, shift your torso forward. Exhale, modified side angle. Drop your left arm, lift your right. You should feel an intense stretch on the inside of your left leg through your hip. This will help us get deeper into our pose later on in class. Inhale, reverse, modified warrior. 
drop your right arm, lift your left, keep that 90 degree bend in your front knee. Windmill your hands down to frame your left foot. Step your left knee back to meet your right. Meet me in a modified plank position. We've got those five tricep push-ups one more time. Here we go. It's lower and lift. Lower and lift. That's two. Down and up for three. Down and up for four. Down and up for five. Lower all the way down. Untuck your toes. Inhale, baby cobra. Feel your chest. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes. Press back into your tabletop. And then meet me in your first downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Pedal out your dog. Bend deep into one knee and the other. Taking big breaths here, using that ujjayi breathing. Come back to a neutral downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Step your feet behind your hands, hip width distance apart. Keep a generous bend in your knees. Drape your torso over your thighs. And find a release here for your spine, for your head and neck. Allow your breath to help you lengthen closer to the mat. Release your fingertips down. Toe heel your feet together to touch. And on a slow inhale, rise up one vertebra at a time. Head and neck last to rise. Meet in your Tadasana. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up high, hold and breathe, press down through your feet, tuck your tailbone under, drop shoulders down and away from your ears, inhale, exhale, baby back bend, press your hips forward, chest to the ceiling, gaze up, inhale, mountain pose, return to center, exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips, Release your fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips in line with your toes or on your shins. Find your flat spine and breathe here. Rock your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Gaze to the top of your mat. One long line of energy from the crown of your head shooting out through your tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, squat and curl. Bend your knees, round your forehead to your knees, send your heels to your glutes, inhale, look forward, exhale, step your right foot back, runner's lunge, take a few breaths here, wiggle it out if you need to, left knee stacks on top of left ankle, you're on the ball of your right foot, keep your back leg engaged, Step your left foot back to meet your right, high plank. Inhale, shift forward one inch. Exhale, low plank, elbows bend, 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog, flip to the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, press your hips up and back. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge, step your right foot between your hands, taking the same amount of time on this side. Work it out however you like. Right knee stacks on top of right ankle on the ball of our left foot. Engage through your back left leg. Step your left foot up to meet your right, back to that squat and curl. Coming into a tighter ball this time. Inhale, straighten out through your legs. Exhale, forward fold, find your release. Inhale, halfway lift. 
breath, tail forward, fold, moving through that sun A one more time, breath to movement, inhale, mountain pose, rise tall, exhale, baby back bend, inhale, mountain, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, squat and curl, Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale. Exhale, step your right. High to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog. Send your left leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, step your right foot to meet your left. Exhale, squat and curl. Inhale, straighten through your legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Listen for the change. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips. Send your arms high. Hold here. Rock your weight back into your heels. Inhale. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Fingertips move to the back of your mat. Pull pinkies together. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Your version of your flow. Know that it is always optional. You can intensify, modify, skip it completely. Whatever you need today. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, simple twist, plant through your left palm, lift your right arm high, hold and breathe. So we've been here before in the modified version. As we move through the sun B, you'll recognize all the poses we already did on the floor. So challenge yourself to get a little bit Drop your right palm, inhale, crescent lunge, rise up, shoulders, stack, roll the hips, begin to sink deep here. Send your left hip forward, pull your right hip back. Inhale, exhale, warrior two, spiral your back foot down, parallel with the back of your mat, sink low into your front knee. Chest and hips open to the side. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, side angle. Maybe you can get deeper into your hip here that we warmed it up really well at the beginning of class. Keep pressing down to the outside edge of your left foot. Inhale, reverse warrior. Drop your left arm. Lift your right up and back. Inhale, exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, send your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, simple twist. Plant your right palm, lift your left arm up. Breathe. As we get to these big standing postures, it's easy to come become disconnected with your breath. Tune back in here. Drop your left palm back down to the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge, slow and in control, rise tall and settle in here. on the ball of your right toe, right foot. Heel stacks on top of your toes. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open up to the side. Go straight through your leg just to sink back down. Reset those muscles. If you have the luxury of having mirrors at home, you want to check in. Shoulders stacked directly. 
back to where everything is one line up and down, and then your arms feet out for position. Inhale, shift. Exhale, side angle. Drop your left arm. Lift your right. Think about lifting. Chaturanga, Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We have that sun V. One more time, linking breath to movement. Take a big inhale, big open mouth. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose, ujjayi breath out, re-engage. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink low. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, shift. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side. Inhale, three leg dog. Send your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, shift. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop down to your knees, tail off, grab some water. Awesome, awesome work so far, yogis. From here, we will move into a balancing series, but he's going back uh, some time here. So enjoy your child's pose. Catch your breath. Come back to an intention that you've set for yourself. And whenever you're ready, meet me back in the downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise up. One vertebra. Exhale, Tadasana, arms down by your side. You might want to take a step back if you're at the top of your mat from the front middle part. 
like I mentioned before, moving into a balancing series, your challenge today is to stay standing on your one leg the entire time. So we'll link a few poses together. It becomes a challenge as we get further on each pose. If you have to tap down or you fall out, that's no big deal. Just hop right back in. Inhale, sweep your arms up high overhead. Exhale, drop your hands together, prayer at heart center. Shift your weight into your left leg. Tree pose on the right. Your right foot comes to your ankle, calf, thigh. Just avoid your knee joint. You can find hot tree if that feels good. While we're in this first pose, find something in front of you to focus on to help with your balance. Keep your legs where they are. Inhale, sweep your arms high overhead. Exhale, eagle arms on the right. So right arm scoops underneath left. Bring your palms back together. Begin to sink deep into your left knee and then stack your right leg on top of your left. Eagle on the right. If there's a different way you like to get into it, totally cool. Go ahead and do that now. Meet me in eagle. Squeeze everything together. Sink a little bit lower. Keep your arms where they are. Inhale, one leg mountain. Extend your left leg. Bend through your right knee. Then start to hinge into warrior three with airplane arms. So try to keep this grip if you can. If not, go ahead. You can ditch it. Challenge your balance. If you drop a foot down, jump right back in. You need to release your grip. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Then shoot your arm forward. Warrior three for three, two, and one. Drop your palm. Standing split. Still on this left leg. It's going to get tired. That's okay. Push through. You can open up through your right hip. Send your right foot up to the sky. Gaze down between your fingertips. Option to challenge your balance. Bring one hand behind your calf, maybe the other. Always can work on handstand hop here. Fasten your practice. Begin to square off your hips. Keep your right leg extended. Take an inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Drop your right knee to your left calf. Inhale, rise high. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Shiva squat. Hold here. And then lower your right shin all the way down. Come down to your glutes into a seated position, but keep your legs where they are. Get both of your Tail, you get your tailbone rather down on the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, half Lord of the Fishes. Hook your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Left hand comes down to the mat and find this deep spinal twist. release. Maybe find a quick counter twist the other way and then send your legs around to the side. Come back to a tabletop and a downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, 
will slowly rise up, one vertebra at a time. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, drop your palms to prayer at heart center. Shift your weight into your right foot. And then find free pose. So right leg is your standing leg. Left foot comes to the inside of your ankle, calf, thigh. Find that point of unmoving focus like you did on the other side. Working all of these little tiny muscles in our feet and our ankles. Keep your legs where they are. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, scoop your left arm under your right. Eagle arms on the left. Begin to bend through your right knee. Stack your left leg on top of the right. Full eagle on the left. Again, if you make your way in a different way, totally cool. As long as you get into this pose, arms where they are. Inhale, one leg mountain straight through your right leg. Bend through your left knee. Exhale, warrior three with airplane arms. Slowly hinge at your hips. Begin to release your grip. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. And then shoot your arms forward, warrior three. So three, two, and one. Drop your hands, standing split. You can open up through your left hip. Bend your left foot to the sky. Same option for balance challenge here. Begin to square your hips to the mat. Keep your left leg extended. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Drop your left knee behind your right calf. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Shiva squat. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Shiva squat. Lower your left shin all the way down. Come down to your glutes. Keep the sole of your right foot planted. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, find your twist. Left elbow on the outside of right knee. release maybe find that counter twist the other way and then come around onto your knees preparing for hero pose keep your knees together bring your feet out to the edges of your mat and begin to settle your glutes in between your heels for me I like to adjust my calves kind of opening them out to the side gets my glutes down to the ground if your knees aren't together Go ahead and just stay right here. You can also add a towel pillow or a block underneath you to kind of close that gap. You can hang out right here. If you'd like to move on in your hero pose, you can start to crawl your finger, fingers or hands back. You can lower down to one forearm or the other. Moving slowly as you progress, Checking with your body how it is today. Some days I can lower all the way down. Today, this is all I've got. If you're lowered all the way down, option to grab for opposite elbows overhead, full expression. And if you ever feel pain in this pose, go ahead, back out. 
slowly start to come back up the same way you went down, slow and in control. And then just pop up real quick into a downward facing dog. Pedal to your leg just to bring some of that blood flow right on back. Drop back down to your knees. Keep your knees together, your ankles together. Glutes settle down onto your heels. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, tortoise pose. Send your fingertips down to the mat, round your spine. Working to get pinkies down. The only thing on your mat is your forehead and your pinkies. Feel this lengthening in your spine, engage through your triceps. Use the pressure in your pinkies to press your hips back to your heels. Slowly begin to rise back up, same way you went down and drop your hands down by your Rise up onto your knees, separate them hip width distance apart. If you need to measure, that's two fists put together. Set them down in between your knees, that way you know you have the proper alignment. Preparing for camel pose. Send your hands to your low back, pretending like you are sliding them into the back pockets of your jeans. Pull your elbows together, you'll see how that broadens through my chest right here. Take an inhale, puff up. Exhale, send your gaze to the ceiling, start to draw it back, press hips forward, maybe you reach for one ankle, and maybe the other. Press hips forward if you have your heel grab. Taking small sips of air, and slowly release, coming back up. And then take a seat, hips, glutes rather, to your heels. Blink your eyes closed and just hang out here for a few breaths. Use that breath to slow down your heart rate. Begin to blink your eyes open and then swivel around and lower all the way down to the mat. We're on the floor for the rest of our practice. Find an active Shavasana here. Keep your eyes open. Allow your spine to fall down to the floor. Let that release feel good in your low back. Bend through your knees, plant through the soles of your feet, set up for bridge pose, crawl your heels to your glutes, your palms are planted, fingertips reach towards your heels, inhale bridge pose, send your hips up to the ceiling and breathe. Knees stack on top of ankles, you still want them hip width distance apart. Pretend like you're squeezing a loaf of bread between your thighs. So you don't want to drop the loaf, but you don't want to squeeze so hard that you smash the bread. Send your hips higher, chest moves towards chin. For three, two, and one, lower all the way down, release your legs long. Shavasana here. Keep your left leg long and planted. Pull your right knee into your chest, right side when we're moving. Interlace your fingers on top of your right shin and begin to pull straight down. Keep your grip onto your right shin. Begin to bend through your left knee, plant through the sole of your left foot, then release your grip. Right ankle crosses on top of left thigh, supine figure four. You can stay right here or begin to bring your left quad to 
towards your chest, interlace your fingers around the back of your left leg. A nice gentle hip opener here as we wind down. You can always flip over and take pigeon if that feels better. both of your legs long. Shavasana. Keep your right leg planted, pull left knee into chest, left side when you're moving, interlace your fingers. On your left shin, pull straight down. Keep your spine glued to the floor. Think about lengthening through your body here all the way from your right foot out of the crown of your head. Get as tall as you can. Keep your grip around your left shin. Begin to bend through your right knee, plant through the sole of your right foot, release your grip. Supine figure four on this side, begin to move to your edge. both legs long, just to reset your spine, and pull both knees in, full when you're moving, grab for opposite elbows, uh, forearms, wrists, maybe just hang on to both of your knees. Release your grip, happy baby. Grab to the outside edges of feet, ankles, calves. Keep your entire spine glued to the floor. Release your grip, pull your knees back into center. T out your arms, then drop your knees over to the left for a supine twist. If you have a different variation that you like better, go ahead and move there. Gaze over your right shoulder. Slowly draw your knees back into and then drop your knees over to the right. Pull your knees back in. Give yourself one final squeeze here. and release into your final savasana, arms down by your side, legs out long. Come back to your natural breath. Feel your chest rise, see your spine fall.
encourage you to stay in your Shavasana as long as you need today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. The light, the love, the greatness in me is so honored and inspired by the light, the love, the greatness in each and every one of you. Namaste.